Patience has not been put in its proper position yet. When you're 19 and you can spend seven full years learning your craft, meeting people that are mentors, being patient, and you wake up and you're 26 years old, you have your entire life in front of you and you've done great foundational work to go on and then be successful. You know, I had a video recently go quite crazy on Facebook um, that I was talking to 22 to 25 year olds. This next five year window is when you don't go practical and safe. This is not the time to get the job mom wanted you to. I think it's extremely practical to be high risk in the first five years out of college, even with debt sitting there, because at 27, 28, you're more than welcome to get that standard stable job and just chip away with it. This is the time to realize that you have a five year window, and it's three for some, it's eight for others, but this is a five year window for you to attack the life that you want to win. How many people here really, really think they've got their idea and they're ready to go? I really think you should leave with all my fucking heart. Like leave right the fuck, like walk out of this room and go do it. What can I learn now? What do you think you're best at? Sales. More of that. Always. <laughs> Always. It's that simple, huh? It's that simple. It's that simple. Because people aren't hardwired to, get, to not focus on their weaknesses and the world is good at selling to people's weaknesses. Executing the way it always is, following the school business model, which is such horseshit, is gonna lead you to a place where you're not going to win. For the 17 of you that actually take the advice to take advantage of that room, of that room you have to execute your world and realizing how much high risk and patience in your early 20s is valuable or to many of you in your 40s, 50s, 60s, like, you know, when everybody's going this way, I wanna go that way. I think what I say is the most practical, the most tried and true, the least get rich quick thing you've ever seen in your life. So to me, hustle would be putting all your effort into achieving the goal at hand and for me that means making every minute count. I think that people like to claim that they work hard and smart but they're not putting in the work and they work nine to six. It's just not enough. You work nine to six, you get home, you kiss the dog and you go to town. When I say I don't respect somebody else's point of view enough, your mom's not living your life. I know I can be with. Is it like parents? Is it? I don't know what it is. Who, who are the other people? Society, yeah, his family. Yeah, man, family. gotta have that real talk. Especially tougher for immigrants and shit like that. Like, you gotta look them in the fucking face and be like, this is what I'm doing. And like, fuck you for judging me. I tell these 23 year olds, 26 year olds all the time to be patient because they should. Everybody is looking for instant gratification and I in return am going the other way and I'm super thrilled to plot along. I know that I look all high energy, the tortoise and the hair thing I talk about. I always say I look like a hair, right? Rapid, like I wanna do it, I want it now. But if you really look under the hood, my actions are quite turtle-esque. How old are you? 44. Think of, I'm 40. Do you know how young you feel? It's, when you were 26, did you ever think that this is what 44 felt like? No. You thought that that was finished? Yeah. When I was 25 years old, I thought a 40 year old was finished. I don't even feel like I'm starting. And none of this entourage turtle shit, I mean a turtle, where I'm just plodding along day by day, year by year, moment by moment, hour by hour, decade by decade, putting the foundational blocks in place to be successful.